Well, Nano Banana is basically everywhere. This is one of the best image models for creating and also editing a picture. It is easy to use, it is free, and also you got lots of credits every day from Google to be used on Gemini AI. But this is actually not the only AI model that you can use to generate a picture. In fact, before Nano Banana, there is also a model called Imagine 4. And in many ways, this model is still better than Nano Banana. For one, this model is able to generate a native 2K resolution. And also, it is better at text rendering. And not to mention, the detail, especially for a photorealistic picture, is way, way better than Nano Banana. However, for some reason, Google just ditched that model and in favor of Nano Banana, and there is no way you can use that model on the web or app version of Gemini. However, there is still one place that you can access to create pictures using the Imagine 4 model, and it is easy to use, it is free, and it is available for anyone. The tool that I'm talking about is Google AI Studio. Just navigate to aistudio.google.com and if you're doing this or visiting this website for the first time, then you have to log in with your Google account. And after that, you can click chat and you can select images. And here, as you can see, there are three models that we can try. Nano Banana, which is the one that we can use on Gemini. There is also Imagine 4 and Imagine 4 Ultra. The Ultra version is a little better, but if you want to get a picture faster, then I highly recommend using the Imagine 4 model. But in this case, I will select Imagine 4 Ultra. Now, after that, you can describe what is the picture that you want to create. I will just create the same picture again using the same prompt and let's compare the result later. So this is the prompt and after that in AI Studio, you can select the aspect ratio. You can select square, vertical or horizontal picture. Let me try just stick with the square picture because again, I want to compare it with the one from Nano Banana. And then you can select the resolution. Here you can select up to 2K resolution, which means the picture is going to be a lot sharper. And after that, you can send the message. Now, even though uh, Imagine 4 seems to be better in some areas, there is one thing that you cannot do with Imagine 4 model. That is, you cannot edit a photo. It is not possible. You cannot upload anything right here. There is no upload button because the model is not designed for editing a photo. So if you want to modify something on a picture, then just stick with Nano Banana. It's still the best model from Google when it comes to uh, changing something on the picture. So we got this picture. I'm going to open it and I, I think I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between uh, this picture from Nano Banana with Imagine 4 model. So let me just open this on a new tab and let's just compare detail. This is Nano Banana. Okay, let me just reset. Now, uh, let me just do a side-by-side -side comparison of these two pictures. Okay, so uh, again, this is Nano Banana on the left, and on the right is the Imagine 4 Ultra model. I'm going to zoom in into the face, and that's as far as I can, as I can get. And how about Imagine 4? As you can see, I can zoom into that level. It is much deeper and much more detailed than Nano Banana. I can still force uh, to zoom in into uh, the area here from Nano Banana, but as you can see, it is so blurry, it is not in the same range or the same quality as the Imagine 4 model. So we're talking a very different level of quality. So yeah, if you want to get a high quality picture or something that looks sharper and able to render text better, then I highly recommend to just use the Imagine 4 Ultra model. So that's basically one way you can generate a picture using the good old Imagine 4 model from Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.